greatest day of the year. Welcome to Street Smarts Back to School. Now, I hope you all did your required reading out there because you know what? It's time to prove how smart you are. Kids, I don't oh, You kids with your fruit. March back to school. I'll be your teacher, Mr. Nicotero. Hello, class. All right. Now, class, I like to start off our back to school show with the basics. A hearty breakfast, new slacks, and a slew of fresh, crisp answers I've collected from people all around the country. Okay. <laughs> then I bring them back to our in-studio classroom so our contestants can guess who made the honor roll and who needed to write, I will study hard, on the chalkboard a hundred times. <laughs> now let's meet our straight A students. Hello, Adam! What's up, Adam? Hey, you doing? Nice to meet you. Graduate Street Smarts as cash valedictorian, the other will get nothing but memories. So I'd study hard. <laughs> All right. Now, let's meet our three precocious pupils on the screens. First up, Nubia. She fills us in on her favorite school subject, boys. So Nubia, you have a very pretty name. Thank you. Is that like Nubian princess? That's right, from Africa. So what's your best school memory? Oh my god, boys! <laughs> really? Yeah. Who was your, your high school boyfriend? Oh my god, I can't say that. Say his first name. Um, Fernando. Actually, you know what? We actually have Fernando here. This is a... Fernando! <laughs> yes! <laughs> then Jeff takes a break from the fireworks to tell us about that one time at band camp. So Jeff, what do you think of the fireworks right there? Uh, you know what? I haven't gotten a look at them yet. Go ahead, you can turn around, will it? Uh, you want... Go ahead. Ooh. You know uh, they look uh, great. They look good. But I'm too focused right now. <laughs> so Jeff, this is our back to school special, okay? Now, what's your worst memory of school? Band camp. I'm sorry, it was great, but band camp. Sorry. Tell me about the one time at band camp. Uh, I'm sorry, I know what you're all expecting. Did not stick anything over it. Actually, <laughs> band camp was just a stressful thing that I wanted to get over as quick as possible. Uh -huh. And finally, Celeste reminisces about why she loved poetry class. Romantic? Nah, teacher letter cut. So Celeste, I find this hard to believe. You have four kids. Yes, I do. And you're a grandmother? I'm a grandma. No way. I've got a grandchild that's three years old, almost four. What's the greatest thing about being a mother and a grandmother? Oh, the love. What's your best memory of school? My uh, poetry teacher. Your poetry yeah, teacher? He was awesome. He was a um, really down to earth, cool guy. Let me skip sometimes and didn't give us a hand. Cool teacher. But he taught me a lot. <laughs> All right. Okay, sharpen your pencils, it's time to find out who passed. I asked all three the same question, you guys have to figure out who got it right, okay? Lock in your choice, correct answer, and your $100. Oh my God, that's like my whole salary. All right, focus people, let's begin. Here's the first question I asked to Nubia, Jeff, and Celeste. Complete the following children's rhyme. I see London, I see France, I see someone's blank. Okay, all right, so who do you think knew this one, you guys? Do you think it was Nubia, Jeff, or Celeste? <laughs> Okay, so you're both locked in. Let's see here. You both think Celeste. All right, Adam, you think she knows, huh? Celeste, yeah. She, I mean, she's old. She knows nursery. Oh, wow. She's telling a kid. Okay. No, not old. But she, you know, she's you telling a kid. She's got grandkids. She's got kids. She's got to know. Okay, let's take a look. Complete the following children's rhyme. I see London. I see France. I see someone's blank. Mm. Socks. Oh, no. oh, I'm sorry. That's a wrong answer. She didn't get it right. Okay, now, uh, class, who do you think? Nubia or Jeff knew it? Jeff. No, it's Nubia, no. Complete the following children's rhyme. I see London, I see France, I see someone's what? Underpants! I'm very excited when you're talking about other people's underpants. Yeah. Right. Did you ever see someone's underwear in class and make fun of them? All the time. Give me a first name of someone you want to embarrass that maybe you saw their underpants. <laughs> Colleen! Colleen! Is this a friend of yours? No. <laughs> Thanks, Nubia. Okay, here's the next question, guys. What's the name of the schoolyard game where a ball on a rope is hit around a pole? So who do you think passed? Who passed? Do you think it was Nubia, Jeff, or Celeste? Okay, you're both locked in. Let's see here. You think Nubia, huh, Adam? Yeah, she's she's athletic. She probably played the game when she was oh, in school Oh, okay, as well, let's so. find out. <laughs> what is the name of the schoolyard game where a ball on a rope is hit around a pole? Rope. Volleyball. 
Oh, that's not right. I know that's not right, Adam. Sorry, I can't give you any money. Now, Elena, you think Jeff's going to come through, huh? Yeah. Sound Band confident. Band you know Band he's going to do it. He must have played some games at band camp. All right, let's see. <laughs> What's the name of the schoolyard game where a ball on a rope is hit around a pole? Uh, that would be tetherball. Tetherball, you ever play it? I played it lots in third grade. Matter of fact, I was a school champion. Way to go, Elena. You got $100. Nice job. You're up to 100 bucks. All right, here's the last question around. If you get busted for truancy, what exactly have you done? So who passed? What do you think? Nubia, Jeff, or Celeste? And let me tell you why. It's no truancy in my classroom. <laughs> All right, you're both locked in with Celeste. Huh, Elena, she knows? Yeah, maybe her kids have been truant once or twice. All right, Adam, we'll you think see. she passed too, huh? Uh, yeah, I'd have to say she seems smarter than me. She's got more wisdom. <laughs> oh, God, let's check it out. If you get busted for truancy, what exactly have you done? Truancy. You've lied. You've lied. Did you ever lie in school? Uh, lie in school? Well, if I was tardy and I went back to class, yeah, I'd lie. Right, so if you were tardy, you'd be truant and lie about cutting. Yeah, I'd lie. You'd, you'd be truant about lying. Yeah. Oh, no, you guys, that's a wrong oh, answer. I'm sorry. Audience, who do you think knew it? Jeff or Jeff. Nubia? Yeah. Oh, 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 it is Jeff. Yeah. If you get busted for truancy, what exactly have you done? Truancy. Uh, not showing up at school. Yeah. Oh, that's a right answer. Way to go, Jeff. All right, let's recap the scores. Adam, you got no money right now. Don't worry. Elena, she's got a hundred bucks. Okay, time for lunch, everyone. Yeah, go ahead and get yourself something to eat and be right back for second period. Bye. Back to school. Back to school. Yes. Oh, I forgot my fruit. Thanks, kids. Thank you. Just one's, one's good, really. One, one's good. Okay. Uh, okay, two. Uh, hey, welcome back to Street Smarts. Back to school. Let's meet our in-studio students. We have Adam. He's from Kingston, New York. He's a bartender. Now, one time you were taking your final exam in Spanish class. What happened? Uh, yeah, I was in college uh, taking my final exam in Spanish, and I brought a cheat sheet in. I didn't think I had anything to worry about because the teacher was blind. Wow. But uh, the proctor was sitting right behind me, and I got caught, so I had to spend the whole summer taking the class over. Again. Oh, yeah. you try to cheat my classroom, buddy. You'll be getting some merit. So I got my eye on you, Mr. New York. All right, now, we have the lovely Elena here. She's from Marysville, California. She's a hostess slash student. I like hearing that. Now, your first day of class, you were going around and everyone was listing their pet peeves, right? Yeah. This girl said her pet peeve was whistling, and I have this thing about whistling. Anytime I hear the word mentioned, I have to whistle. So I did it under my breath so she can hear me. My cheeks I'm saying whistle, 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 whistle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for being here. Let's recap the scores. Adam, you don't have any money right now. Well, that's okay, Story though. My life. Elena's got 100 bucks. All right. It's time to find out who squandered their potential and who failed. That's right, I asked the same question only two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. We're looking for wrong answers. Lock in your choice and a correct guess earns you $200. Wow. Yeah. Plus, I brought in the dunce cap. Oh, yeah. Can only be used once this round. When you think your opponent does not know an answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get $200. But if they're right, they get to the $200. That's right. The cap can be trickier than a cheat sheet written on your hand. So watch out. Especially you, Mr. <laughs> Cheater, Adam. All right. Now, here's the first question I asked to the cute little Nubia and to Jeff. A spelling contest shares the same name as what insect? Nanana. Oh, Elena, you've been dunced. Adam, throw that cap up there. Yeah, let him put it on. There you go. Okay, Elena, I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. A spelling contest shares the same name as what insect? A bee. That's a right answer. Way to go, Elena. Put that cap on, Adam. What do you think? Elena, you're up to 300 bucks. All right, guys, okay. Now, who do you think failed this one? Do you think it was Nubia or Jeff? So go ahead, lock in, you guys. Who failed? Okay, so you're both locked in. You think Jeff blew it. Elena, he won't know this one? No, I don't think that many spelling bees that. And Adam, you Dang agree, him. huh? I, yeah, I have to at this point. Okay. I don't think the kid knows his name. A spelling contest shares the same name as what insect? An ant. Spelling ants, yes. I used to always do well in the spelling ants. I couldn't spell very well. I, used to, I, I didn't get A's. I used to get B's. Elena, you're up to 500. Right answer, Nubia had it. Nubia, a spelling contest shares the same name as what insect? A bee! How are you at spelling? I am, I used to be good. I don't know how I am now. Did you do your bee impression again? Bee. He's so cute. All right, here's the next question I asked to Nubia and Celeste. I asked the ladies, 
You have a 4.0 GPA. What's GPA stand for? So who failed, Nubia or Celeste? Okay, you're both locked in. You both think Celeste, Elena. She won't know this. She's been out of school a long time. I don't oh, think she's yeah, okay. And Adam, you. <laughs> she doesn't know a name at this point. Oh no! Oh, All right, let's. See. You have a 4.0 GPA. What's GPA stand for? Great point average. <laughs> for teasing my friend Celeste. She got it right. <laughs> no, Nubia blew it. Here you go. You have a 4.0 GPA. What's GPA stand for? Good people answer. Grade point average. Oh, yeah. The GPA. Sorry. Oh, Nubia better hit the books. Okay, here's the last question. I asked to Jeff and Celeste. Jeff and Celeste. I showed Jeff and Celeste this object and asked them, what R word is the name of this popular music class instrument? Okay, so who failed this one, all right? Who do you think? Do you think it was Jeff or Celeste that failed? Okay, you're both locked in. Again, you go back to Celeste. Elena, you don't think she, you think she failed, huh? I, he went to band camp. He's got it. Oh, oh, so. Adam, you agree, huh? Yeah, he knows though, this instrument. Okay, sure. let's see if he failed. What R word is the name of this popular music class instrument? Um... A ringer. A ringer? Oh, yeah. She blew it! Way to go, you guys! You each get $20. Ah, she failed that one. Nice job. Jeff actually had it right. He passed. Watch this. What R word is the name of this popular music class instrument? A recorder. to fire drill, okay? Let's get in a single file line. Fire drill right here, no talking. We'll be right back after this. Let's go, people, fire drill. Come on, this way. Okay, people, come on, fire drill, let's go. This is my, my moment to shine. Okay, all right, and stop right here. Everyone safe, yes. <laughs> Salute back to school. Now, a biology teacher would say, it's time to choose a quadruped mammal. <laughs> but I like to say it's time to pick your pupil. Each of you guys will choose a person for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Correct predictions were $300, you guys. Yes, the dunce cap is back. You can only use it once. Now, the player who's trailing goes first. Now, Adam, that's you. Uh, you have 400 bucks. Elena's got 700 So who would you like to saddle up? You're going with Celeste? Okay, all right. Elena, how about you? You're going with Jeff, all right. Okay, Adam, here's your first question to Celeste. Referring to gym class, what do the letters P-E stand for? You're just got that it cool? right, she got okay. it right, yeah. She's got a million kids, she's got to know it. All right, let's take a look. Referring to gym class, what do the letters P-E stand for? Physical education. Ten. Yeah! Unbelievable. Four, four kids and a grandmother. You know, I have a condition in my shoulder. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she got it right. Go, Adam. Yeah. 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 We got a tie game. Tie Woo. game. All right, here's your first question All to right. Jeff, Elena. Which of these is not an author you would study in lit class? A, Louisa May Alcott, B, Courtney Cox Arquette, or C, Edgar Allan Poe? Do you think Jeff got this right or wrong? I'm hoping. Okay. I'm hoping. All right, Adam was ready to use that dunce, but he held off. So let's see if Jeff got it right for you. Jeff, which of these is not an author you would study in lit class? A, Louisa May Alcott, B, Courtney Cox Arquette, or C, Edgar Allan Poe? I probably wouldn't study Ed Edgar Allan Poe because I've never heard of his name before. He was a very good head of raven hair, Edgar Allan Poe. Doth the raven no more. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Courtney Cox, our cat. Come on, <laughs> she's a friend. She's not a writer. Okay, Adam. Here's your next question, Celeste. You can take the lead. What are you doing if you're seen matriculating in school? Nanny, oh, nanny, Elena, nanny. you've been done. Throw the cap, Adam. All right, Elena. I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. What are you doing if you're seen matriculating in school? Talking. That's the wrong answer, Elena. 300 bucks goes to Adam. He's got the lead. Okay. All right, now Adam. Your pupil is Celeste. Do you think she got it right or wrong? She got that right. All Come right, on, let's baby. see if you can get another 300 bucks. What are you doing if you're seen matriculating in school? 
Matriculating. Matriculating. Having sex in the bathroom. Oh my god. Did you get in a lot of trouble for that? Yeah. Did you ever matriculate in school? Oh, never. Have you ever heard of anyone matriculating in school? Sure. Oh, she got it wrong, Adam. Sorry, correct answer is enrolling. No. Enrolling in class is matriculating. That's a Goodness. toughie. All right, here's your next question, Elena. You can tie up the score. I asked Jeff, the college entrance exam, entrance exam, formerly known as the Scholastic Aptitude Test, is now known by what three initials? I think you got it right. All right, let's take a look. Jeff, the college entrance exam, formerly known as the Scholastic Aptitude Test, is now known by what three initials? That would be the S-A-T. Very good. How'd you do on your SATs? Um, you know, I haven't actually taken them yet, but I'm going to do great when I do. How old are you? I'm 21. Are you supposed to take them at like 16, 17? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm behind my game. <laughs> hey, guys! This is a good one. All right, you each have one more question and you each have $1,000. Now, Adam, I told Celeste, I cannot repeat this question, the question. Solve this in five seconds. There are two trains. One train leaves New York at noon. The other leaves London at noon. What time did the first train leave New York? So what do you think? Oh, please, come on, girl, think. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Celeste, I cannot repeat the question. Solve this in five seconds. There are two trains. One train leaves New York at noon, the other leaves London at noon. What time did the first train leave New York? 10 a.m. I said noon. Well, I couldn't repeat it. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. You're gonna be stuck at 1,000 for the wager of detention. Now, Elena, it's up to you. Here's your last question to break the tie. I asked Jeff, what is a student doing if they're cramming? So your pupil's Jeff. Did he get it right or wrong, Elena? I think he got it wrong. All right, let's see. What is a student doing if they're cramming? They probably have too much on their mind. Because what, I mean, what, what, what is cramming? Uh, cramming too much on the mind. Right, they, they just, they, they got too much on the head. Yeah, stressed, very stressed. <laughs> That's a wrong answer, way to go, Elena. The correct answer if you're cramming, you're studying for a test. All right, recount the scores. Adam, you got $1,000, That's a lot of money. Elena, $1,300, wow. When we return, Adam and Elena will be making a final prediction on a question I asked the Nubia, Jeff, and Celeste. I asked them, what famous children's book features a spider named Charlotte? Now stay in your seats, boys and girls. It's almost time for... The Wager of Detention! That's right, there will be no hope passes this year. Hold it, you just have to hold it! Back to school. Now, Adam and Elena, let's lay the groundwork. During the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they'd be right or wrong, and then you made a wager uh, not to exceed the total you now have. Good game. Adam, $1,000. Elena, $1,300. It's time to find out who passes and who fails. One final question. One final winner. Oh, my God. I'm so nervous. All right. Here's a question I asked Anubia, Jeff, and Celeste. What famous children's book features a spider named Charlotte? All right, let's get your choices. Adam, I'm starting with you. You got a thousand bucks. You go with Celeste. Absolutely. All right. Elena, you got the lead. You're going with Jeff. You're going with Jeff. All right. Well, nobody said, uh, nobody picked Nubia. I'm going to say bye to her. She was very cute, very funny. Thank you, Nubia. We loved you. All right. So, Adam, you're going with Celeste. You're trailing right now. Let's watch. What famous children's book features a spider named Charlotte? Charlotte's Web. Right, exactly. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, Adam, you saw Celeste's clip. She got it right. What did you say? You said she get it right. All right, Adam, you had $1,000. How much did you wager of that 1000 He wagered all of it. Oh, my, he's got the $2,000. That's good. All right, Elena, you went with Jeff. Let's see the fireworks. What famous children's book features a spider named Charlotte? Charlotte's Web. Oh, okay. So he got it right, Elena. Did you say he did it wrong? Oh no, Elena, you said wrong. How much did you wager on your $1,300? All of it down to zero. Guess what, Adam is one. He gets an A plus. A plus for Adam. What have we learned today on Street Smart? Well, life is a classroom. Keep studying. Way to go, buddy. What famous children's book features a spider named Charlotte? Charlotte's Web. Nice little book. <laughs> 